Stingray is a mobile device that masquerades as a cell phone tower. It's usually mounted in a police surveillance vehicle. Cell phones are constantly seeking the nearest tower, even when you're not making a call. Your phone could connect to the police stingray when nearby and route data through the stingray just like it would a cell tower. The data is relayed to a connected laptop, which displays and translates it for officers. Data is passed on to a cell tower. The phone's user will not know the difference. Police can get identification and telephone numbers for all cell phones that connect. Numbers dialed by a connected cell phone, including outgoing calls and texts, and the location of a connected phone. Here's a picture of a phone tracking device that we've never seen in the wild written by Lorenzo Franceschi Bicchi a Ray staff rider November 22, 2016 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time copy this URL for years, in almost complete secrecy, cops and feds in the United States, and elsewhere, have been using powerful devices called stingrays, cell site simulators, or MZ catchers to track and spy on cell phones. Over the last few years, and only after long legal fights and several public documents requests, we've learned a little bit more about IMSI catchers, including some of the agencies that use them. Yet we've rarely seen them. Some official pictures have been published online, mostly mined from patent applications, but we've practically never seen them in the wild until now. Here's a picture of a stack of IMSI catchers, which trick phones into connecting to them by pretending to be a cell tower, sitting on what is likely the seat of a police car or van. That's consistent with what we know about how these devices are typically used, Nate Wessler, a staff attorney at the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, told Motherboard after seeing the leaked picture. They're put inside a police vehicle and to anyone on the outside there would be no indication that the police are driving around with a powerful surveillance device. Read more, British companies are selling advanced spy tech to authoritarian regimes. Critics argue that IMSI catchers are very invasive, since they force every cell phone in their vicinity, not just the targeted one, to connect to the tracking devices. The picture, unfortunately, is low resolution, but you can clearly see that at least three of the four stack devices are the Harpoon model made by Harris Corporation. The only other picture of a Harpoon was published in 2013 by Ars Technica. The Harpoon, according to a brochure from 2008 published by Ars Technica in 2013, is an amplifier that maximizes the capability of the Stingray 2 and significantly improves the performance of the single-channel Stingray and Kingfish systems, which are other Harris surveillance products. Another leaked picture shows what appears to be the back of the device, along with its identification number issued by the Federal Communications Commission FCC and a barcode that says a device is property of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. A spokesperson for the agency declined to comment as if Dill does not discuss investigative techniques. Harris also declined several requests for comment. A former Harris employee, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said that the pictures look real, and told Motherboard that each harpoon device in it is likely used as a different module for different functionalities, such as intercepting different bands. But it's all one and the same system, according to the source. According to a manual leaked along with the picture of the harpoon, and first published by The Intercept in September, the harpoon can be used along other Harris products. Harris, which sells most of these spy gizmos to cops around the United States, has fought to keep details of its technology secret, making customers sign strict non-disclosure agreements. The FBI even barred local cops from disclosing any information about the devices and there have been a few cases where prosecutors prefer to drop charges rather than face the possibility of disclosing that the authorities have used stingrays or similar products in their investigation. 
Privacy and anti-surveillance advocates such as Wessler and his colleagues at the ACLU have long fought to lift the veil of secrecy surrounding these devices. They also fought the government, demanding that police get a warrant before using these devices, something that has usually not been a requirement until recently. It shouldn't take a leak. To just see a picture of this device in action. The picture was part of a cache of documents purportedly from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement FL, and leaked to Motherboard. In 2014, the American Civil Liberties Union revealed that the FL had spent $3 million on IMSI catchers since 2008. If it is indeed the FL's device, the new leaked picture shines a little bit of light on how cops actually use these devices on the streets of America. For that reason, Wessler applauded the leak, but also complained that police departments and the FBI should be more transparent. It shouldn't take a leak, he said, to just see a picture of this device in action. Get six of our favorite motherboard stories every day by signing up for our newsletter. $173,995. That's the price tag for a device that's been purchased by the Indiana State Police. And though the department has described this device as a powerful tool in the fight against crime and terrorism, it seemingly gives the police one more ability to track the cell phone data of ordinary, unsuspecting individuals. This is all according to newly released documents obtained by the Indiana Star. According to the Star, the device is referred to as a stingray, and it's often installed in a surveillance vehicle. The stingrays have the ability to trick all cell phones within a certain distance into connecting as if the stingray were a cell phone tower. That connection then allows for agencies to track users' cell phone data, including their location of calls, the numbers dialed, and their text messages. But this device is not only being used in Indiana. It's being employed by at least 24 additional police agencies across the country. That list now includes the D.C. metro area, where a new report from Gannett shows that local cops in Maryland, Virginia, and Washington are also collecting phone data. Privacy advocates are extremely critical of the exposed program that they say raises a lot of concern. Jerry Lanoska of the Indiana Coalition for Open Government had this to say about the findings. What sort of reassurances can the agency make to those people that their data is being destroyed, not maintained indefinitely, not abused for any purpose? I think there are a lot of serious questions about that. And those questions will seemingly continue to stream in as these agencies come under fire for the practice, showing that metadata programs are not just happening through the National Security Agency. Now, when it comes to the feds, we know that they'll do almost anything to catch a person of interest, even if they have to do that unconstitutionally. And in the past, we've told you about the FBI placing GPS trackers onto suspects' vehicles without a warrant. That's an issue that's making its way up through the courts as we speak. But what about tracking you using your cell phone? Now, we've spoken with security and privacy researcher Christopher Segoyan about how companies like True Position have created technology designed to track individuals based on their cell phone locations. So what they do is they draw a virtual fence around uh, a house, a, a, a nuclear facility, a military base, you know, any place of interest. And True Position software can allow the phone company to spot new devices whenever they enter that virtual perimeter. So True Position is a company that sells these tracking devices to other countries. But now it looks like similar types of technology are being used right here at home. Details are emerging about a tracking system used by the feds called Stingray. Now, it's similar to what Segoyne described, but this device acts as if it were a cell phone tower, and it intercepts your phone's signals using pings. So the Stingray determines the strength of your cell phone signal through sonar technology. So your cell phone constantly sends out a signal, and based on how long it takes for the receptor, in this case, the Stingray to receive that signal, then your cell phone can easily be found, or the location of it. And the worst part here is that even if you're not using your phone to actually make a phone call, the feds can still find out exactly where you are. 
Now, the Sting, Stingray device is made by a Florida-based company called Harris. And up until recently, the Fed's use of devices like these have been kept very hush-hush. The Wall Street Journal reported that during a federal case against an alleged hacker, Daniel Rigmaiden, the accused was curious as to how exactly law enforcement tracked him down. And in its own court, the prosecution sought to keep that information off the record. An official from the FBI explained that it's, quote, considered law enforcement sensitive since its public release could harm law enforcement efforts by compromising future use of the equipment. So the feds don't want to reveal how they operate. Surprise, surprise. So now that we know how this works, is this practice of tracking individuals without a warrant even legal? Now, the feds obviously don't feel the need to use a warrant with this Stingray technology. But in the past, law enforcement has said that this isn't considered wiretapping because it's not actually intercepting any sort of communication had on the cell phone. Just your location data. Now, the feds used to have to get your cell phone location after obtaining a warrant and then contacting your cell phone company. But with this technology, they can bypass the warrants and the cell phone providers and just get all the information on their own. So frankly, I don't know, it doesn't really sit very well with me. After all, if the GPS trackers the feds put on their vehicles are going to have their day in court, and this technology tracks your movements in a similar way, why would the use of stingrays be any different?